Good morning, everybody. There is a creepy mist in the woods today, and there is just enough snow that we can jump on the snow machine and go back to the deep swamp to save me 45 minutes of walking, and we'll get into that interesting area where the hair stands up on the back of your neck, and we ask for knocks and we get them. So let's go do this. Let's see if it's more exciting in the fog. Gage says you can't trust any cat. Hey buddy. But we did just fix this one, so hopefully it'll get us back there. Not much snow. It's gonna be around in another week, so we gotta do it now. This thing has been starting a lot better. Running a lot better. No sooner do you praise this stupid thing than it starts acting up. So it's warmed up, temperature light is off, but it will not come down off 2200 RPM. So I cannot put it in reverse. <laughs> it will, will not go until the RPMs drop down. And uh, as you can see, I have no snow across my driveway. Yes, we could drive across there, but I wanted to back up. Yeah, that's me, not touching the throttle. Because it won't come down off RPM, it wants to go on its own. Well, here we are at the start of the snowshoe trail, right there. As you guys can see the trail, it's got wet spots all the way across the swamp. And I'm gonna say next week, we will not have enough snow to get the sled back here, so. Can you hear those? Robins. Spring is here, guys, even if it doesn't look like it. Ugh. Oh, I just about took a cobweb in the face. I don't know if you can see that first one of the season. All right, we are gonna run the hack shack as we start down the snowshoe trail here and just see if we get any responses on it. We'll know what kind of walk we're going to have very shortly if this thing starts going off. geese out in the swamp behind us. 
Super foggy back in there. Can't see anything. It's colder out here than I thought it was going to be today. I thought it was going to be warm and things were melting and that's why we had the fog, but Oh, it's, it's crisp. Which makes for a very easy walking on this trail, but very slippery. Yeah, yeah, getting that feeling, guys. Definite shiver down my neck. Here's another cobweb. As you can see, they're frozen. Oh, did that just say danger? I just turned it back on. Full neck shiver right there, guys. I shut it off for about 100 yards. Just turned it back on and immediately it's, 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 it's. said danger and then now it's talking again and I just told you guys I was getting that creepy feeling well if you're here knock for me prove that it's not just this box and coincidence and craziness Feel angry. I don't know if it's the message they're giving me or if it's them or what, but I feel like pissed off. Knock for me. Whistle for me. Who's here? Alright, I seriously just had a really bad vibe and a thought of maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe I'm toying with something that uh, I shouldn't mess with. That was the thought I had. But I wanted answers. Is this freaking real? Is this just a stupid box saying stupid things? Come on, use this box to talk to me. If you have something to say, say it. You guys notice that? I noticed that. The box just said something, one word, and right before it did, like a second before it did, Gage was in front of me, he stopped and he looked up, then the box said something. I just heard two, I don't want to say knocks because they weren't knocks, it was not very far.
like within 20 yards of me right here, but I see nothing. The sound came from right there somewhere. And if you guys look, there ain't nobody here except Gage and me. Look, we'll even do it again. Nobody here. Knock for me. I'm right creeped out right now, to be honest with you guys. Like, I don't even feel like I need to go any further because we've already heard some strange knock right close to me. The box was talking its usual smack talk. And the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. Yeah, full body shiver. Come on, use this box, talk to us. I'll stay right here and I won't go any further. If you don't talk to me, oh, full body shiver. If you don't talk to me, I'm gonna keep going. And we know how much you like that. We're not even at the real bad spot, guys. It's another eighth of a mile up here. Ooh, because I'm in full uh, body shiver mode, Let's just see what Necrophonic has to say. Pretty sure that just said turn back. I can hear you. I closed my eyes there and immediately started envisioning my protective light around me and I'm pretty sure this box said light. I heard it say ask, so I'm gonna ask. Knock for me. Or whistle. All right, we're gonna push on. We're, we're going for it. We're going even deeper. We're heading for the real creepy zone. I won't be told what to do. I turned that back on and immediately I'm pretty sure I heard my name and knock. So knock. What does any of this prove? I I 
I don't know. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, that was weird. My camera's doing weird shit here, guys. The screen just zoomed in on me like somebody had touched the zoom rocker, but my hand is underneath the camera. Sandhill cranes. There was something actually calming about that, hearing that, a natural sound. Kind of grounded me there for a second. I heard knock, I heard distant, and I heard doubt. <sighs> Guys, these are all things I'm saying and we are feeling, you know? Like I keep saying, we doubt this box. You know, was that distant knock? Was What was that? Something natural? Why? Did it again, I'm not making this up guys. Watch the video clip right there. I closed my eyes and I was protecting myself and again, this said light. Okay, give me one good knock and I'm out of here. That's all I want, I'll leave. One good knock. Ugh. My arm's getting tired from holding this camera. I want to find somewhere to set it. I just heard something there. There was a loud knock right there and it set the cranes off to going. Tonight, woods? I don't think so. No, I'm not falling for that, guys. No freaking way. That right there feels like a baiting of, uh, yeah, come back at night. You got this, you know, like they're trying to encourage me. Tonight, woods. No, I don't think so. You ain't fooling me. I gotta switch arms, my arm. I literally can't hold that camera anymore in that arm. Knock for me right now, loud and clear. Oh, full body shivers. I may have just put something together here, guys. I may have just put something together here. I thought it said Nipissing earlier, which is the name of the lake, but it's also the name of the local natives. Nipissing. And this just said scalp you. Are these native spirits and I'm the white dude out here in the woods? 
And they don't like that and they're trying to push me out. Guys, times have changed. I'm not the enemy. If that's what's going on here. Oh, my mind is racing with the possibilities of why this place back here feels so freaking crazy. Because it is remote, there is nobody around here, and maybe they want to keep it that way. And that's why, like I said before, I had that feeling they were just trying to scare people out of here. Are you Nipissing native? I just heard another knock when that was was talking. Gage heard it. Down the trail that way again. That's that's two knocks we've heard in that direction now. I'm we're going back towards the snow machine now. I'm not even going all the way down. Like we're pretty close to to the worst area here, but I just, I'm not feeling like going any further today. I think we've got enough action going on right here. Somebody in the comments had mentioned that to me about native land. Well, this is all native land. We just talked about in the, one of the metal detecting videos that there was a Nipissing native village on the south side of the river. Well, we are on the south side of the river. This trail is gonna come out at the river. So maybe half a mile down here, we're gonna hit the lake. And that's where the early 1800s Nipissing native village was, or one of them. So absolutely they would have traveled these swamps and hunted these swamps. Am I on the right track? Are you native? Hear us, nip, knock. Guys, this sounds like they're answering me that they're native. That was not the dog, I just heard another knock. The dog is way over there. See the dog, he's way over there. I just heard something knock, like right here. Well, I kind of feel that we're getting somewhere. Okay. Well, I, I just want to state unequivocally that uh, I don't mean to intrude. Times are different. We all share land now. Everyone is respected and equal. There is no more war. I don't know. I don't know how any of this would translate to them if time is not a, a thing, right? In the spirit world, man, they could still be living in... S scalp the white guy. It said, scalp you. I come in peace. And if you search my spirit, my energy, you'll you'll know it, you'll feel it. I'm not lying. I just seek answers. And I hope you can help me with that.
Oh, waves going down the back of my neck. I don't know what that said. I feel like this outing was a success, guys. That I accomplished something. It wasn't just another confrontation in the woods that I can't explain. I feel we got an answer, a definitive answer as to what's going on here. I wonder if there's some kind of burial ground. There's nothing modern that we know of, but maybe back in the day, if they had a village there, they had to be burying people here. Is this sacred ground? Ooh, shiver. You want to invite me back and we can further communicate and figure out this story? Or do you want me to stay away? Guys, if, they, if it freaking tells me to stay away, I'd probably have to respect that at this point and just not come back, even though I want answers so bad. Tell me what you want. Can I come back and offer you friendship and work with you to get answers? Do you want me to continue with this research? Okay, so I had this on, I turned it off, I turned it back on. In both instances, I heard Doug. My buddy Doug, he was native. And it said safe the first time. It said Doug, safe. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I, like I said, I feel that today was a very productive hike. I think we got some answers. We got some scary stuff on there. We got some knocks when we asked. It's real. It's all freaking real. I know it is. They didn't say that, uh, you know, don't come back. So I think I'm going to continue this line of research. Maybe I'll do some research about Nipissing Village. Uh, I don't know. Thanks for joining me, guys. We'll catch you in the next adventure.